I've hit 400 subs. I now have over 400 subs. I now have over. I now have over. I now have over 400 subscribe subscribers. I now have over 400 subs. I now have over 400 subscribers, and I was originally going to do something very, very stupid for views, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to put my body in harm's way as I was going to do. I was going to get four chilies, stuff them in hot sauce, put them all in my mouth at the same time. But the last time I did that, I almost actually died. So you know what? I'm going to pass on that. Sorry, but I actually like this body. I don't want it to like, you know, die. Instead, I'm just gonna sit here and talk with you and thank you because I never thought I would get this far. And don't go saying, oh my gosh, you're like 80 million subscribers away from PewDiePie or something like that. I, I, I don't care. I don't care about PewDiePie, although I do think he's a good YouTuber. Number one, in my opinion, has to be PewDiePie. Was there really any doubt about it? It just has to be him for me because he's absolutely amazing. He plays loads of different games. Plus he's got the most subscribers in the world. That was my first ever YouTube video ever. Top 10 YouTubers of all time in capital letters. I'm not going to show you that ever again. If you want to go and see it, just scroll to the bottom of our videos. 400 subscribers to me is such a big number. That is literally 400 people out of like 20 billion, however there are in the world. <laughs> oh, it doesn't sound that big now. But honestly, it is. It is. Because one subscriber means everything to me. 400. Even though it's pretty much everyone from my school. Especially now, since I'm in sick form, loads of new people have come, then these new people have subscribed because I practically forced them into it. I just want to talk to you about my YouTube journey. That sounds so cliche and it's only been like three years. So I started off YouTube in like year seven, year eight. I still cannot believe my voice was that high for year seven and eight. And welcome to the Bean Boozled Challenge. Dare to compare. Did you just vomit? because like I vomited inside my mouth and then I just swallowed it. And oh wow, did I make some banging videos. I'm not going to show you them <laughs> again. If you want to go and see them, just scroll to the bottom of our videos. It's not really that hard. It doesn't take much effort apart from scrolling through literally hundreds of videos because I've made hundreds. And yes, I was very, very cringy. Like you will cringe so hard you might actually die. And if someone asked me, are you proud of your older videos? You know what I'd say? I'd say, yes. Because, <laughs> no, I probably wouldn't. I'd say, what? No, that's, they're horrible. But no, th that is the start of James Creates. That's how it all started. It was just me as a cringy, cringy 11 year old. No, not 11, I'm 16 now. So if I've been doing this for three years, I would have been like 13. That just makes it worse. How could I be a 13 year old and be like that? I have a few more pranks up my sleeve. <sighs> I feel so bad now that... <laughs> but yeah, that is the start of my YouTube career. I literally make no money from this. And as time progressed, I got worse. I made some weird videos. For example, my friend broke his leg where I pretended my friend fell out of a tree and broke his leg even though he didn't. Don't know why. Views, I guess. Prank Skype call where I called my friend and said my next door neighbor drove over a cat. They didn't, just, just, just to be clear. And of course I've had my fair share of brilliant collaborations. I will not mention who I collaborated with, for their sake, because if anyone was known to have collaborated with me, they would probably be assassinated. But yeah, collaborating with people kind of got me a few more subscribers. Oh my gosh, why did my voice do that? Sorry, it's, <laughs> it's that kind of day where I've just had a really bad day. My voice has just been really croaky and weird, but <laughs> oh gosh. Subscribers, subscribers, subscribers. Uh, just forget that, I could edit that out, I'm not going to. Around 370 subscribers, that's where it just stopped. Everything stopped. I was making videos, no one was watching really. Views and likes were going down, not that I care, of course. It's the fact that no one else was subscribing, so I was just like, what's the point? And I know I've said before, I make it for me, which is true. 
But if people don't watch it and if people don't, you know, get entertained from it, it is hurtful. Um, because I do spend a lot of time editing and I do just want at least one or two people to see it, you know, and, and actually like it. If it's not enjoyable, fair enough. So I took a break from YouTube just before my GCSEs. I took a massive break. Massive being one month. It was literally one month. But I came back really, really strong, you know, and I had some really good ideas. And guess what? My first video, after so long, just got 16 likes, right? And like 130 views, something like that. That's amazing. That's actually amazing for a YouTuber like me. And it's continuously been around 16, 17. There's the occasional video where I get like eight likes, which is completely fine because that's better than what it was like before. And I'm just trying to make better content. I'm just trying to be better. And, um, well, yeah, just better than, than that. And I noticed that the subscribers were going up. Guess what? Like two weeks ago, I hit 400 subscribers, like randomly. Even though it was someone looking at my live subscriber count who then made three accounts just so then they could see it go to 400 and then send it to me on Snapchat, I still have 400 subscribers now. 408, actually, to be precise, which is just so amazing. It's just so amazing. And I'm just so glad I stuck with YouTube because I've had quite a hard time of it. Like, ever since, you know, Yo, yo, yo! That's all I'm going to show. I'm not showing any more of that. Ever since that, things have been not amazing at school. Like, people have called me James Creates, which is fair enough. I mean, my YouTube name is James Creates. If it wasn't in a mocking way, like they go, Oh, James Creates! And, oh, James Creates! Pretty much what I just said, but in a different voice. It was worse, much, 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 much 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 worse back then uh when i first posted james creates rap and i've had some wonderful comments i mean have you tried the wwf plastic bag challenge every minute you keep the plastic bag on your head is one animal saved have you tried the leaving me alone challenge every minute you leave me alone i become happier my entire body simultaneously cringed Yes, yeah, so did mine, but that is, that is your fault for clicking on this video. Please stop, you're making me have homicidal thoughts. You spelt your wrong, and please stop, you're making me worried for your family. I don't look at them anymore, but, um, yeah, it was a bit hard at the time, just because I was actually quite young, and I actually listened to all the haters, and, uh, yeah. I don't anymore. Yeah, there's the occasional person that goes, James Create. I just want you to know, it really doesn't affect me anymore. Keep on doing it if it makes you feel better about yourself. But like, honestly, it's pretty pointless, don't you think? That's what I'm going to say. I'm not being shady. Like, if you're one of those people who go James Create, fair enough. I mean, it's quite entertaining to like, make fun of people, isn't it? But yeah, that kind of stuff, it's all gone down now. There were times when I thought, I really can't do this anymore. Or if people are going to be making fun of me like this, um, I'm so glad I continued, because look at me now, I'm pretty much PewDiePie. And recently I've been posting videos every two weeks, every three weeks, because, you know, A-levels, and I feel like I'm going to die every single day, because it's like the, the worst thing that could ever be put upon a person. Like, one person, how can one person do, like, 50 sheets of work per day? I just feel like I'm drowning, drowning in pressure, drowning in work, drowning in extracurricular activities. I feel like I'm just going to explode and, like, drown, and my lungs are just going to fill with water and just, like, compress against themselves. I just feel... Bad. But every two weeks, every three weeks, it's working for me. Hope it's working for you. Because it allows me to do work, actually have a tad, small, small, small bit of relaxation on a weekend, and then edit a video, like plan a video, because all my videos are pre-planned, so. Feels like I've just gone completely off the topic. The point is, I have 400 subscribers, and I would really, really like to thank you all, right? And literally, my YouTube channel would be nothing if it were not for you, my wonderful, wonderful audience. <laughs> I hate myself. You're great. 
honestly, the comments you leave, apart from those hating people, the comments you leave are absolutely so, just so nice, and it makes me feel like I'm worthy, like I'm worthy to like, I don't know. What I'm trying to say is you make me feel so happy and just so good about myself. And I want you to feel good about yourself because you've made me one of the happiest people in, not the world, because there's a lot happier people than me, um, in the vicinity, you know? Like, I'm really happy because of you. Every single subscriber, every single person watching this video, even if you're here, to hate on it or to dislike. At least you've watched it. At least I've got people's attention. Thank you so much, all of you. I cannot wait to make more videos and for this community to grow and grow and become as big as PewDiePie's. Thank you so much. I love you all and I'll see you soon. I really don't know what else to say. You're just all brilliant. Thanks. See you.